with the time hours change for night shift and the time changes 20 meters out and will 80 meters be an option? I've that is a really good years. question. Um, there's um, with the parks on the air, they've changed how they do their um, uh, late shift calculations instead of late shift starting at um, um, 0 hundred hours uh, UTC for everybody. Now late shift kind of rolls around um, at, at 15, at roughly 15 degree increments from um, 0 hundred UTC. So what that means for, you know, uh, what that means for us in the central time zone is roughly, um, that'd be like five hours UTC, uh, it'll start at uh, seven o'clock PM local time, um, which is good. Um, you know, in the Eastern time zone, it was eight o'clock in the, in the, out, out in California, their late shift started at five in the afternoon. Now late shift is, de is no longer dependent on that one constant time, but it is relative to the time of the activator. So when UTC flips to zero at your location, that's when your late shift starts. Um... I think there's there's still lots of opportunities for 20 meters, uh, especially, well, now this time of year, it's not so much because it's, you know, we're getting down to the winter time and it, things get dark so much earlier. But in the summer months, you know, when um, you, you could certainly work that gray line on, um, on 20 meters and of course, 40 meters is gonna be, a, is, is still gonna be gangbusters at, um, at your, at your at at your point in time when um when the zulu day turns over 80 meters is now you know because we're in the winter months is now more of an option i think um i did a beautiful 80 meter late shift a couple three weeks ago and uh it was noisy like 80 meters is but otherwise it was it, it turned out really well yeah, I don't necessarily think that the time change is really going to affect too much with that, um, especially with the bands being as good as they are right now. I mean, again, this weekend, I was killing it on 10 and 15 meters, and this is like mm -hmm. end of October, beginning of November. Um, if we're going into the winter like this, I, I have pretty good hopes. So, um, again, yeah. the best thing you can do is just go on and make a few calls and see what happens, right? <laughs> yep, yep. You know, try, the, try those other bands. Um, I think the key for a successful... 80 meter uh, late shift activation is going to be in the antenna you use. Uh, probably not so much with a ham stick or even a vertical like the Wolf River, but um, getting lots of wire into the air. Lots of wire um, tends tends to really favor those those low bands. So mm -hmm. if you really want to, yeah, if you really want to um, kick it up on on 75, 80 meters, throw up a big throw up a big antenna. Talking, you know, before the break, we were talking about late shift. Brent noticed that the, uh, they changed the stats definition for the late shift awards. Uh, yes, they did. When they first introduced the changes, it was going to be roughly 8 p.m. local time. And then they found that um, uh, looking at, you know, there was a little bit of pushback on that because a lot of parks closed by... Eight nine, eight, nine, 10 o'clock, and that didn't give you enough time for a proper late shift. So they moved it back an hour to 7 p.m. local time. Uh, the best way to tell, you know, when local, what, what the late shift time is, is to go, I'm just going to pull a park up here. Um, Four, five, three. They will, they will say, if you look at a park, and I just grabbed one here, um, it will say early shift award times, 9 UTC to 15 UTC, late shift award times, 1 UTC to 9 UTC. So this tells you that um, at, this, at this time is when your when late shift or early shift for that part begins. So if you don't know when that time is, look at the look at the at the POTA info page for that particular park entity and that and you that'll tell you when late shift activates so okay 
And if you're over 65, late shift starts at 4.30 in the <laughs> afternoon your local time. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> KB9 VBR antennas are simple, effective, and affordable VHF and UHF antennas for amateur radio, MERS, public safety, and GMRS. Made in the USA with quality parts. Get yours online at jpol-antenna.com.